This is Pastor Ann Painter, and I'm offering a devotion for the 10th of March. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher who's come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. Yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. The word of the Lord. Cindy is a 20-year-old baby. Now, that's not a reproach of her maturity or a complaint about the way that Cindy presents herself. She struggles with addiction. In recent months, Cindy has had a rebirth. She's come to realize that her life can begin again. Her new life is new spiritually, emotionally, physically. She has said yes to invitations to begin again. There are new ways of thinking and seeing the world. She has a new way of seeing herself. No longer is Cindy stuck in a litany of inescapable tragedies. Instead, life has possibilities. As a child of God, Cindy is beloved, cherished, valuable. How can this be? By water and the Spirit, we're reborn children of God, heirs of the promise of God, part of the household of God. How is your life being reshaped?